Hey guys, it's Fanta from Team Duh, and uh, I've been asked to check out this deck, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd hey, look at it. It's a continuous trap deck. I'm gonna go through the deck. It's gonna be a little different time. I'm gonna actually gonna go through the extra deck first, uh, and then we'll go through the deck list in a second. So we have one Fairy Cheer Girl, one Lagia, uh, Gear John X, I don't use this card, uh, Sukiyomi. Master Key Beetle, Pallades, Zenmeister, Abusteller, uh, Gaga Samurai, Symphony, uh, Matrix, Rhapsody, Honor Arc, Gaga Cowboy, uh, Black Ship Corn, and of course, Castell. Uh, if you can notice, some of these are generic, some of them are not generic. We'll talk about how to summon them in a second. Uh, these, <laughs> if you don't know them, you should check it out. It's pretty good. Now for the deck list. Three Statue of the English Pattern. Three Quantum Cat. Three Swamp Mirror. Three Tiki So. Three Abyss Stingray. That's it really for the continuous trap monsters. We're just going to spells. We got one Regeki. Two Dark Holes. Two Mystical Space Defense. Three Pot of Dualities. Three Magic Planters. Now on to some other traps we have. We got one Compulsory Evacuation Device. Two Fake Trap, two Safe Zone, two Phoenix Chains, two Booby Trap E, three Imperial Customs, three Card Card D. Now onto some combos. To summon Pallades, you would need two Abyss Stungray. Uh, there's only three of these in the deck, and the rest of them are level four. These are actually level five light monsters, so it actually works with Pallades. Uh, if you think that's kind of a low monster count, uh, you also have cards like Fate Trap to prevent cards from being destroyed. Um, these cards from being destroyed. You also have Zape Zone to prevent them from being destroyed. And you also have Imperial Custom which prevents continuous trap cards to be destroyed. To summon any of these five, you would need a combination of the following. Uh, this one requires two lights, and uh, that, so that you can use this one for it. It's actually a light rock monster that's level 4, so if you want to you use the soul for that. Um, but for the most part, to summon any of these, you would need Swamp Mirror and Quantum Cat because they can change their attribute and as well and their type. So you can make them dinosaur and light so you can uh, summon Lagia. You can make them fairies to so summon Fairy Chigirl if you want to draw power. Uh, Tsukiyomi is also for the same reason in case you're missing out on the cards, you would like it more. That's it. Gear John X is uh, so you can search out card card D like that. You can change these to machines, summon this and add this to your hand um, and master key bill it's because you can change them to dark okay the coolest part is summoning Lagia say this is your hand it's a very powerful hand by the way you would set all this and your turn just like that okay and chain link and order it's very important because for every continuous trap card that becomes a monster you can destroy a card if this is already facing on the field so Let's say for some reason they have four cards on their side. Let's say you chain everything. So one, two, three, four, and five. This one last. This will come out first. Then this one, and then you pop a card from that. Then this one, pop another card from that. Then this one, then pop another card for that. And then that one, pop another card for that. That's a plus four, and you still have a five card here. Okay. This next combo is very powerful. Um, I'm not going to show you the Kibio safe zone one because you guys probably know about it. Um, but it does involve safe zone, so let's put this away. You can summon Kibio, that's a pretty good card. Um, if you have something, you know, something you want to keep and then you activate safe zone on it, it lives, right? Uh, as long as it's in face up attack position. However, this is also pretty powerful. If you activate safe zone on their monster and then you magic planter, you will draw two cards because of magic planter and you get a showable card. So in variations, I kept it mostly level 4 uh, continuous trap monsters so I can uh, summon to generic monsters that I like, like uh, Otter Art. However, there are other monsters like Metal Reflect Slime, um, where the level is 10, the defense is 3000. It's a powerful card, I would use it, um, but it's a little slow on my deck. So I took it out, but you can choose that if you want. Another good my trap monster is Shape Sister. It's a level 2 tuner uh, if you want to summon like, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, Barking on or 
What's the other one called? Beast, the Trimmer Beast. All right, um, so you want to check that out. It's a tuner, although it's a little slow for me because I want to do XC build. Uh, you can check that out if you want. And then lastly, if you want to use this card, it's a great card too, Big Bird. Because most of the cards in your graveyard will be traps. Um, it doesn't affect you because if a card targets the graveyard, if your opponent activates a card that targets the graveyard, you can activate this, remove all monsters from play. It doesn't really affect you that much because most of your cards are traps. So you can use that as well. Another variation we can use is the Uriah build. Um, it's a little slow for me because Uriah isn't really uh, searchable. Um, however, if you want to use that, you can also run Card Trooper. It's searchable by Girjian RX, and you can activate it to send continue trap cards to feed to feed Uriah. And because of all the cards that I put in the deck, Uriah can be summoned really easily because of all the continuous trap cards on the field. So weaknesses for the decks are obviously cards like Royal Decree or Jinzo to negate trap cards because the deck is mostly traps. Um, also, it, uh, it is a bit slow because everything has to be set before you activate it. And there are speed cards like Twin Twisters running around, um, a lot of back row destruction right now. They're overall a pretty fun deck. If you guys like what you saw, uh, please like, subscribe to us. If you feel like I missed anything, or if you wanted to ask about a certain card of the deck, please give us a comment below. If you have anything you add, please give us a comment. We love reading comments, and we'll respond back as soon as we can. This is Fanon with Team Lilla, and with the Continuous Trap deck, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, and go ahead and share with all your friends. You can also check out some of our other content by clicking on the annotations on the left or right below. Also, for more updates, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, peace out guys.